the very set first step in um, being able to represent these polytopes without actually finding all the vertices first is to use what are called a uh, tableau. Um, and, and tableau just comes, well, just is the French word for uh, a table. So these are essentially tables of, of numbers. And so just to remind ourselves, the best response polytope for the row player is given by this um, convex hull. And so we have these inequalities, x greater or equal to zero and x b less than or equal to one. And uh, the example we've been using is b equals one, three, three, one. So just in a, an augmented um, matching pennies game. And, and so these equalities just immediately become that we need x1 greater or equal to zero, uh, x2 greater or equal to zero, and x1 plus 3x2 uh, less than or equal to one, and uh, 3x1 plus x2 less than or equal to one. Okay, so we could then start building up the um, um, the polytope and, and everything, but the point is we, we don't need to. For the first thing we're going to realize is that this can actually be written in a in a slightly different way, or, or in particular, these two can be written in a slightly different way, in that we can just say, well, actually, that's just x1 plus 3x2 plus some variable, right, equals 1. As long as s1 is greater or equal to 0, then, then these two things are, are equivalent, all right? And then similarly... Uh, 3x1 plus x2 plus some other variable, so 2x2 equals 1. And again, for s2 greater or equal to 0. And we call these slack variables. And that's just because they represent the slack that we can have because of this inequality, right? If this uh, quantity is going to be less than or equal to that, that means that there's room for some positive number in between this and this, okay? So this leads us to another way of representing all of these inequalities, or in particular, um, elements of, of this, all right? And so what, what we can say is simply, well, this is saying that for x1, x2, s1, and s2 greater or equal to zero, that we simply want that x1 plus 3x2 plus s1 equals 1, and x1 plus 3x2, uh, oops, 3x1 plus x2 plus s2 is equal to 1. And now I'm just, I'm just kind of leaving the gap here, because what we're going to be interested actually is in these, the coefficients of, of these various columns. And so this is where the, the tableau representation comes in, because we can write this where we don't care about the actual variables, we just care about the coefficients of the variables, and so we write that TR, so the tableau for the, the row player, is 1, 3, 1, 0, and the 1, and then 3, 1, 0, 1, and the 1. And this is going to be the tableau representation uh, that we're going to use, and the general format uh, for uh, the the row player is going to be that TR is equal to BT, the identity matrix, and a column of ones. Okay, which is just what we're we're seeing there. That's that. This is the identity matrix, and then we just have a column of ones. And the equivalent for the column player is just TC equals um, an identity matrix, uh, the payoff matrix A, and a column of ones. But we'll, we'll come to that uh, later on. And so that's what a tableau is. And what we're going to see next is how we can manipulate this tableau and how this ta these tableaus correspond to uh, vertices of our polytope.